Hey guys, welcome. This is uh, section 10.4 for April 21st, Tuesday's lesson. We're on page 291. This is section 10.4, page 291. We're going to talk about borrowing money today. Um, your reading is going to take you pay through pages 291 to pages 292, um, and they're going to talk about some uh, some different types of loans, the signature loan and unsecured loan, um, promissory notes, all of that. Be sure to highlight those in your book to take note of those concepts. What I want to focus on today, you will find on page 292. So go ahead and turn there. We're going to talk a little bit about interest. Interest is a fee charged for the use of money and must be paid on the money borrowed from the bank. Um, the vast majority of the problems you're going to be doing today, numbers 1 through 16, are going to require you to find interest, either that as the answer in itself, or to find interest added to the original amount borrowed to find the total amount that will be paid. So how do we find interest? If you look on page 292, under the, uh, at the top right hand paragraph, you'll see in bold the interest formula which is I equals PRT, or interest equals principal times rate of interest times time. Now the principal is the amount borrowed. The rate of interest is the percent of interest applied to the loan, and the time, of course, is the length of loan in years. That's an important distinction. We're always going to be coming back to years. And so if the time given to you is less than a year, We'll talk about in just a moment why you don't just multiply by that number of days or that number of months. Go ahead and look at number one of your exercises, not model problem number one, number one of your exercises. So in the first five questions today, it says find the amount of interest to be paid on each loan. They give us the principal, the annual rate of interest, and the time. And so in order to find these numbers, you're just going to be... Uh, multiplying the principal by the annual rate of interest by the time. So we're looking at number one. We would take $2,000, multiply that by 13% or 0.13, and then multiply that by one, because one year. Um, and that would give us a total of $260. So let me back up so just everybody's on the same page. Principal multiplied by the annual rate of interest, which needs to be expressed as a decimal, multiplied by the time. So then with that, look at number two. We have $500 as our principal multiplied by our annual rate of interest, which is 15%, this is all normal. But when we come to the time, we have a time of three months. Now, how do we express this? Do we just multiply it by three? No. So three months, what is three, how many months are in a year? 12. So three months over 12, we'll express it as a fraction. So 500 times 0.15 times 3 over 12. Now we can reduce 3 over 12 to 1 fourth. And we understand that 1 fourth expressed as a decimal is 0.25. So what you want to do is take the time and turn it into a fraction according to a year. So if, if they give you three months, it's three months over 12 months. If, they, if you were to look down um, in pit number 11, they give it to you in days. So 45 days, it would be 45 over 365 because there are 365 days in a calendar year. Then you take this fraction and you turn it into a decimal. The reason for that is, is to simplify multiplication. Once you multiply the principal by the annual rate of interest, you'll take that number and multiply it by the time, which will be most easily done if the time is expressed in a decimal. So you understand if it's months, it'll be the however months over 12 months. If it's days, it'll be over 365 days. Take that fraction, turn it into a decimal, and then plug it into your equation. Today you're going to be doing numbers 1 through 16. Uh, no, excuse me. Uh, you're going to be doing numbers 1 through 21. I'm sorry, I misspoke. Uh, you're going to be doing numbers 1 through 21. Um, for numbers 17 through 21, go ahead and just write the letter and the answer that you chose on your separate sheet of paper. That'll be acceptable. If you guys have any questions, send me an email at davidgall at lcspatriots.com or you can send me a message on the LMS on Renweb. Take care.